सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गॉइंग टू रिकाउंड यू अबाउट द वो मैट एक्सचेंज द वो मैट ऑफर्स हाउ वो मैट वर्ड्स दैन इंट्रोडक्शन टू वो वर्ड्स हाउ दिस वो वर्ड्स बेनिफिट द यूजर्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू देर थ्री प्रोटोकॉल्स कंपेरिजन ऑफ द थ्री प्रोटोकॉल्स सो लेट्स नो टू द इंफॉर्मेशन So what is Wombat Exchange? It is a multi-chain stable swap built exclusively on the BNB chain. So with the concept of asset liability management and coverage ratio adopted by Wombat, it is possible to single stake stable coins for sustainable income and exchange different stable coins with the least amount of disruption. So the Wombat vision is to fuel DEFI growth and push boundaries with greater capital efficiency and increased accessibility and scalability in a multi-chain world. So what are the Wombat offers? What they offers? They offers greater capital efficiency, low gas fees, possibility of zero impairment in losses, single-sided staking pools. It's a, mm, a groundbreaking multi-chain stable swap. A swap stable coins at minimal slippage and stake at maximum yield. To earn this, just use one stable coin currency. Then, how this Wombat works? It's an interesting question. Maximize capital utilization. Wombat's open liquidity pool design aggregates liquidity in a shared pool indicately balanced by coverage ratios, providing greater capital efficiency. It's a more user friendly. Wombat helps users swap tokens and earn interest on any stablecoin currency across various blockchains. Then comes it increases scalability. Wombat's flexible liquidity pools allow staking with a single token which facilitates liquidity growth without the need for complex maneuvers. Last I include is it minimizes the leakage rate. How? As is Wombat uses an asset liability model and negates leakage until higher transactions amount and reduces slippage when it occurs. Before moving to the next slide, what I am suggesting is like this Wombat has lots of investor case. So I want to tell you some of the investors like Anemica Brands, Hailstone Ventures, Shima Capital, Binance Lab, BNB Chain, Boom Hall, GSR, more more are there. So next I want to tell you Boom Voice. So what is Boom Voice? It is a new and very interesting addition to the Boombat ecosystem that allows Boom holders and stable coins liquidity providers. This allows Boom holders and stablecoin liquidity providers to earn higher yield on their holding and even earn governance tokens of the participants' protocols. So in this Boom Voice, there are three projects which are fighting for powers. They are Magni XYZ, Boombex Finance and 12 Finance. Then these three projects which are yield boosting protocols are fighting to accumulate we found in order to have powers and influence over the Wombat exchange and ultimately to able to provide higher yield to the users. So, then how this Womb voice benefits? Actually, you can stake your stablecoin LP on these protocols and the protocols will then use the womb collected and convert them to VWOM to get boosted yield that applies to all liquidity providers. On top of this, you can also earn the governance tokens as rewards. Then you can stake womb on these protocols and receive tokenized version of protocol on the VWOM and 1 is to 1 ratio by staking your tokenized version of VWOM. Then you will be able to get a share of the protocol's womb earning and their governance token as reward. Then users are able to swap the tokenized version of VWOM to VWOM anytime. Some of them offers a bot lock mechanism where you can lock your liquidated VWOM token to gain voting powers like control emission, fee sharing and other parameters. Then, how does VWOM work? Next is further maximize our earning potential with Wombat Exchange as we integrate three new yield boosting protocols. We will be discussing it in next more slides. 
Women holders and stablecoins LPC will get to explore more DeFi opportunities and see better yield upon welcoming Rumex, Macri, and Cure. So we can follow the table. Let's move to the mechanism and understand the difference between these three protocols, which I already mentioned about is Cure, Rumex, Macri. Before that, uh, before explaining these three protocols, I want to tell you this Boomverse also provides an opportunity to earn more tokens by interacting with these three new interesting protocols. So the first project I would like to explain you is like QL Finance. What is QL Finance? It is brings the convex model to BNB chain. It starts with integrating with Chromebat Exchange. As Convex to call, it brings the benefits to both liquidity providers and CRV holders. It allows liquidity providers who don't own any room to earn trading fees as well as boosted rewards. It can convert their dollar room and QL finance to obtain extra rewards while maintaining the token utilizers. By aggregating dollar room on the platform, QL can maximize returns and enables capital efficiency for both liquidity providers and dollar room investors. This QL finance is more than convex. It will integrate with more protocols who adopt the VToken. Moreover, core team is a combination team who are focusing on investment and technology. So we will utilize our expertise to gain more for our users. This QL will take advantage of the unique VToken model to benefit the different types of users. Liquidity providers. Liquidity providers can get boosted dollar boom reward without holding any room. They are able to take advantage of our ample room supply and utilize that for a boosted yield, which is accumulated by the boom holders. Moreover, liquidity providers can earn the QO reward, which is the QL governance token. It will provide more reward by staking or locking the QO. Then coming to the boom holders. What is that? Boom holders can convert the dollar boom to the Q boom. This Q boom is a tokenized version of V boom. It can be transferred. Holders can either stake Q boom to earn the protocol fee and extra dollar QO reward or swap back to this dollar boom at any time. This will lock, this tool will lock the dollar room received to accurate this dollar room to accure the possible highest toast reward from Boombat Exchange. Then coming to the Boombax Finance. What is that? Here the main goal is to collect as many VWOM as possible. It offers the highest yield to liquidity providers and attracts solid total volume locked. It is a boosting yield for liquidity providers and concentrating governance power across Wombat. Then this yield aggregating and VToken accumulation protocols are implemented on the BNB chain which is built on top of Wombat. Then comes Matme. So this MACME project allows users to deposit stable coins to earn boosted yield from Wombat Exchange without having to stake Boom and agree VWOM. Depositors can leverage our sufficient VWOM balance to get a boosted yield in Boom and MGP. This MACME can convert your Boom into productive assets by converting it to VMBOM which can then be staked to earn a portion of MACME's revenues. The stakeholders in this MBOOM receive 2 battery of Magnus revenue as well as additional rewards by our governance token MGP. It helps WOOM holders in passive income from their idle tokens. Apart from providing standard convex functionalities, Magnus Vice also plans to build a governance token bribe system to maximize the monetization of WOOM voting power and offer WOOM tokenomics as a service to help the whole BNB chain ecosystem to benefit from battle tested tokenomics model. The team behind Magnus is formerly from Google, Dropbox, and Helium Network. Then, then one of the interesting things is like the comparison of these three project. Let's move to the comparison of these three project. So, QL. QL will invest in new project and find a fixer yield source to grow their treasury and to add 
more values on the QEO token. Here, an investment DEO to manage their treasury is what lies ahead, spread ahead by their core members of early supporters and advisors. The team consists of DEFI OGRs, experienced Web2 and Web3 developers coming from leading companies like Facebook, Microsoft, World Bank, US, etc. Then comes Homebex. It's, it's a convex fork with a lot of additional development, new tech features, customizations, and with dynamic token emissions, it also adds new level of flexibility for token issuing and it's an easy liquidity deposit with royal governance, customization and the likes. Just one platform is needed to boost it all. This Boombox combines the power of liquidity providers and Boom token holders, supercharging each other and accelerating long-term Boombox growth. Then finally comes Nagmi XYZ. So it's a decentralized stage protocol that sympathetically works with Boombat Exchange to support the long-term development of the platform and it delivers excellent yield for Boom holders and liquidity providers. It also helps the Boom holders and passive income and LPs can generate booster yield without the need to hold Boom. Here the voters can acquire Boombat Exchange voting power in a cost-effective way. Coming to this Boombex Finance, so as personally, according to my opinion, I would choose Boombex Finance protocol because the reason is like this Boombex Finance is providing the best protocol because Boombex Finance offers the highest yield to liquidity providers and attracts solid total volume locked. As you know, it reached 45 percentage of the reform on Boomat Exchange and it providing 89 million TVL on protocol. Got 112k as total revenue, earned total 385k dollar room. So thank you, thank you for watching my video.